Hello. In this lecture, we will discuss the wax patterns in prostodontics. Before discussing the wax patterns, let's discuss quickly the process of constructing the crown. First, the tooth is prepared. Then, an impression is taken to the tooth with a suitable impression material. After that, the impression is poured with stone. After the stone hardens, the accused tooth in the cast is prepared to form a die. Here, on the die, the wax pattern is formed, simulating the tooth that was prepared. Then, the wax pattern is placed in an investment ring where it is heated, so all the wax will be burned out. After that, molten alloy is forced into the space created by the wax pattern and this will represent the crown which will be seated inside the patient's mouth. This is in case of full metal crown. Now, before forming the wax pattern, it is important to do ditching. Ditching is trimming of the stone representing the gingiva around the prepared tooth to show the finishing line clearly. It is done by using a sharp hand instrument or burr. This step is done before wax modeling to form a correct wax pattern. As you could see here, this part of stone represents the gingiva. In areas, it covers the finishing line. So it must be removed, so proper access to the finishing line could be done. It can be removed by prosthetic burrs, but care must be taken not to hit the finishing line. As you can see here, this is the finishing line very clear. Requirements of the finished wax pattern, as we can see here. First, it should be clear and smooth. Second, it should duplicate accurately the anatomical features of the original tooth. Third, it should be free from any air bubbles or debris. The wax used to create wax patterns is called the inlay casting wax or inlay wax. There are two types of inlay casting wax. Type 1 inlay wax, it is a hard wax and is used for intraoral waxing technique. It has a higher melting temperature. Type 2 inlay casting wax, it is a softer wax than the type 1 and is used for extraoral waxing technique. It has a lower melting temperature. As you can see here, the wax may come in different forms, either blocks, sticks, or in containers. Here, the metal instrument is heated, then parts of the wax is melted and taken to be placed on the die to form the wax pattern. Techniques of construction of wax pattern. 
there are two techniques. First, intraoral technique or direct technique. Second, extraoral technique or indirect technique. The intraoral technique, the wax pattern here, is constructed inside the patient's mouth using type 1 inlay wax. This technique is mostly used to construct the posterior inlay and onlay restorations and anterior post crown. Here, this is the inlay hard type 1 inlay wax. As you can see here, the adaptation of the wax intraorally to form the onlay restoration. And this is the restoration after casting. The type 1 inlay casting wax has a higher melting point because some waxes, such as type 2, will melt inside the patient's mouth because of the temperature in the oral cavity. Here, we done waxing to form an inlay. In order to do wax pattern for a post crown, a piece of plastic, such as a plastic post, is adapted inside the canal. After preparation, we check that the post sits inside the canal. Then, increments of hot wax is applied on the tip of the plastic post and inserted quickly inside the canal. This is repeated until gaining the final result. Minor corrections may be done. Then we place it inside the canal and place on top of it wax to form the core of the post and core restoration. This will be then sent to the lab for wax elimination and investment. Then we will receive it as metal and cement it on the tooth. Techniques of construction of wax pattern. The second technique is the extraoral technique, the indirect technique. Type 2 inlay wax is used to construct the wax pattern on the die of the working cast. This is a type 2 inlay wax. There is no specific color for the inlay casting wax, but generally it is blue or dark blue.